Yes, church. Uh -huh. We're seeking Come on. the lost. Yes, right. Amen. Luke, the 15th chapter, and the fourth verse tells us, uh -huh. let a man, what man of you, uh -huh. having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, do not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost Amen. until he find it. Amen. A Christian's mission, a Christian's duty is seeking the lost. Amen. I want to thank God Almighty for blessing me with this opportunity to stand before you. And break unto you what thus says Jesus. Right. It's indeed of a fact that we are here for no other reason Amen. but for the saving of our souls. Amen. It was Jesus that asked that powerful question in Mark the 8th chapter in the 36th verse. Mm -hmm. What profits a man yeah. to gain the whole world right. and lose his soul? Right. I believe there's someone in a Worship service that needs or wants to be saved this evening. Right. Being saved by hearing the words of the Lord. Yes. Believe in the word with all thy heart. Right. Repent of your own doings. Yes. Confess with the mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and be baptized. Yes. Baptism is not a sprinkled church. Yes. Baptism is not a poor church. Yes. Baptism is a burial. Yes, you must go under the water. Right. There are folk in the world today that say that you don't need to be baptized in order to be saved. Yes. But that is not Bible and that is not scripture. Right. The Bible tells me in Mark 16, 16, yes, he that believeth and is baptized yes. shall be saved. Yes. He that believeth not shall be damned. I also want to thank the visitors for coming out and enjoying what we now are enjoying in the Church of Christ. Yeah. Anytime our doors are open, you are welcome to worship yeah. with us. Yeah. The scripture reading is taken from Hebrews, the 10th chapter and the 22nd verse. It says, let us draw near with a true heart and a full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience yes, and our bodies washed in pure water. Yes, yes. Amen. I don't want to hold you too long. I just want to give you a few pointers and then I'm going let to let God's people go. Come on. Amen. Let God's people go. The title of my message is There's Water in the Plan of Amen. Salvation. There's water, church, in the plan of salvation. This evening, I want to speak on a certain man. A man that was a servant of the Lord. A man that was in a baptizing business. A man that was in a soul-saving business for Jesus. That man was Philip, church. According to Acts, the 8th chapter and the 12th verse, it tells me that he baptized both men yes. and women. Yes. We're going to turn our Bibles to Acts, the 8th chapter, yeah. and the 26th verse. Mm -hmm. Going to the 26th verse, 8th chapter of Acts. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see what Philip and his unit had came to when they came into their presence together. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south into the way that going down from Jerusalem into Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopian, a unit of great authority under the Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasures and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. We came to Raven Street Church of Christ for no other reason but to worship God. John the fourth chapter and the 24th verse tells us, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and 
in truth. But as we go further on in the scripture, it says, was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading the prophet Isaiah. Then the spirit said unto him, go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And he said, understand that I what thy readest. And he said, how can I except some man should guide me? I stand before the ones that are lost. That I may guide you. That you will find Jesus. But as we go further on in the scripture, it says, and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. And the place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. Yeah. Right. And like a lamb dumb before his shearing, so he opened not his mouth. Right. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken yeah. away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Yeah. And the unit answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? Talking about Jesus. Amen. Yes, sir. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at that same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. Amen. I stand before you to preach unto you Jesus. Jesus was a man without sin. Neither was no guile found in his mouth. But this evening I want us to go on a journey with my Lord and Savior. I want us to walk down the footpath of righteousness with my Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just to walk with Jesus Amen. will make it right in yeah. your life. Yes, right. Jesus was coming from Galilee yeah. into Jordan where he came into the presence of John yeah. the Baptist. Yeah. Let us turn to Matthew, the third chapter, and the 13th verse. Yeah. And we're going to read what, what went on in these particular passages. Yeah. Then coming Jesus from Galilee into Jordan unto John Amen. to be baptized of him. Uh -huh. But John forbid him, saying, I need to be baptized of thee right. and thy coming to me. And Jesus answered and said, and, and said unto him, Suffer it to be now, yeah. for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Amen. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were open unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and enlightened upon him. And lo, a voice from the heavens saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. God was pleased with Jesus when he came straightway out of the water. God is pleased with all the ones in the worship service when we came straight up out that water. God is pleased with all, the, all mankind when they came out of that water in the church of Christ. Amen. And God will be pleased with the ones that are lost this evening, that will come up out that water. Amen. But as we go on our journey just a little further, I just want to let the ones that don't know, know that there is water in the plan of salvation. Amen, church. But as we go further on our journey with Jesus, there was a man that came to Jesus by night. A Pharisee, a ruler of the Jews, wanted to know how can a man be born again when he is old. Jesus is going to lay it all out on the line for old Nicodemus. Amen. Let us turn to John the third chapter in the first verse. We're going to read what Jesus said to old Nicodemus. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thy art teacher come from God. For no one can do these miracles that thy doest except God be with him. 
Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. I can remember the time when I was reading my Bible. Came to 1 John, the 5th chapter and the 8th verse. The Bible told me there are three that bear witness in earth. Spirit, water, and the blood. These three agreed as one. Through the teaching of the spirit, it tells you to go into the water. When you go into the water, you contact the blood. When you contact the blood, you are born again. Your sins is washed away. You become a new creature in Christ. You are added to the church of Christ. And you can go on your way rejoicing in Christ this evening. I just want to let the ones that don't know, know that there is water in the plan of salvation. But as we go further on our journey with Jesus, time is drawing near for my Lord and Savior to save all mankind. Yes, he's on his way up Mount Calvary where he's dragging that old rugged cross. And the Bible said when he got up to Mount Calvary, they nailed him to that cross. Stood him up between two thieves. And Jesus said unto the Father, Father, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And one of the thieves said unto Jesus, Remember me when thy cometh into thy kingdom. Jesus said, Verily I say unto thee, This day ye shall be with me in paradise. I don't know what paradise is at, church, but I do know it's with my Lord and Savior. And since we'll be in the presence of my Lord and Savior, it's all good in our eyesight. Am I right about it? The Bible tells me that he gazed up into the heavens and he said unto the Father, My God, my God, why have thy forsaken me? And the Bible told me that he gave up the ghost. My Lord and Savior died on that old rugged tree of the cross for you and I shall have eternal life. Is that all right? But a soldier came up to my Lord and Savior, Mm -hmm. pierced him in the side with a spear, and out came blood and water. I believe that Jesus was letting us know that there is water in the plan of salvation. Is that all right? But he hung up on that cross till a rich man out of Armathia named Joseph went to Pilate and begged. For my Lord and Savior's body. Pilate delivered my Lord and Savior to old Joseph. Joseph took my Lord and Savior to a tomb that he had hewn out for himself. Placed my Lord and Savior in that tomb. The Bible said that he wrapped him in a clean linen cloth. Is that all right? And then he rolled a stone in front of the tomb. And then he departed. Three days. I mean two days had gone by. My Lord and Savior was still in that tomb. But on the third day early upon the first day of the week, my Lord and Savior came out. That tomb, a conquering king from death. Yes, Jesus whooped up on old death early one Sunday morning. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Then he came, then he stayed on the earth for a few more days. And then he ascended back into heaven. Where he sits on the right hand of God, interceding in our behalf. Is that all right, church? But I want to go back to Acts. Peter preached a powerful sermon on my Lord and Savior's crucifixion. Around the 37th verse, the Bible said that they was pricked in their heart. 
them Sadducees and them Pharisees, when they found out they had crucified the Messiah, and they said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said they gladly received his word and were baptized. Peter, Peter baptized about 3,000 souls that same day. Amen. What a happy day, church. What a happy day. Jesus washed their sins away. Well, we're going to go to another happy day. Remember in Acts, the, the eighth chapter and the 35th verse where Philip was preaching unto that unit, Jesus, yeah. around the 36th verse, it said it came to a certain water. Yeah. And the unit said unto Philip, here's water. What is hindering me from being baptized? Yes, yes, Philip said, if thy believe it with all thy heart, yeah. thy mess. Right. Right. And the unit said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. Yes. And the Bible said he commanded the chariot to stand still. Yeah. And the unit and Philip both went into the water. Yeah. Philip baptized that unit. Yeah. The Bible said that Philip was called away by the Lord and seen that unit no more. Yeah. And that unit went on his way rejoicing in the Lord. Yeah. You can go on your way rejoicing this evening. Yeah. Amen. Amen. By hearing the word of God. Jesus said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Let your heart not be troubled, church. Believe in God, he said, also believe in me. He said, for in my father's house there are many mansions. And if it was not so, he said, I would have told you. He said, I'm going to prepare a place. He said, if I go to prepare a place, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself. Yes. That where I am, ye may be also. Amen. Jesus is the answer Amen. for the world today. Amen. Believe in him, for there is no other. Amen. Jesus is the way. Right. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No one comes unto the Father but Amen. by me. Amen. You have to come to Jesus. Right. Come to the Lord and Savior. Amen. You have tried the world. Now it's time to try Christ. Amen. Jesus said, come to me all who labored and of heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly at heart, and ye shall find rest, rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You have heard the words of the gospel. The gospel is the death, the burial, and the resurrection, according to 1 Corinthians 15, chapter 1 through 4. Amen. You have heard the gospel. Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Then you have to believe, Hebrews 11, 6 says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. That he is the reward of those who diligently seek him. He had to repent. Luke 13, Luke 13, 3 and 5 said, For I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And then you have to confess with the mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. He that confessed me before men, him will I confess before my Father which is in heaven. But if he deny me before men, him will I deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Amen. Then you go to that fifth and final step. Right. Baptism. Right. Yes, there is water yes. in the plan yes. of yes. salvation. Amen. Amen. Mark 16, 16 tells me, mm -hmm. he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. He that believeth not Amen. shall be damned. Right. Yes. You have heard the five steps to the plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. Come to Jesus while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Amen. Come to the Lord and Savior. Amen. The clothes is ready and the water is ready. Yeah. And God is ready to receive Amen. you. Amen. Let us stand.